Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. In many of the reviews that I have done, this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator has been featured. Today I thought we would take a look at this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator as I've not actually done a review, it's only been featured in the videos. This review will only cover some of the basic functions of this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator. To fully cover all of the features of this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator would require a very extensive review. If there are specific features that you are interested in, however, please let me know in the comments and I will cover those in a separate video. So let's take a quick look at this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator on the bench. On the bench here, I have the Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator. I have a Fluke 8846A Precision Bench Multimeter. And I have a Fluke 773 milliamp process clamp meter. On the Fluke 726 we have two jacks here and these are dedicated to measurement. This is for temperature and these four jacks here can either measure or source. Currently the Fluke 773 is set up to source 12 milliamps and that's being measured here on the Fluke 726. The Fluke 726 is also sourcing 15 volts and that's being measured here on the Fluke 8846A. The dual display on the Fluke 726 makes this possible. The Fluke 726 is able to source up to 20 volts. It can also power a 24 volt transmitter. To change the voltage being sourced, I can go up and down in 25% steps. So that's 10 volts for example. You can see we're reading pretty close to 10 volts on the Fluke 8846A. Within the allowable range it is possible to source any voltage. It also has a millivolt range. This is 25 millivolts that I'm sourcing. That's 50 millivolts that I'm sourcing. Again it's pretty consistent with the Fluke 8846A. The Fluke 726 is now set up to measure voltage and it will source 12 milliamps. The Fluke 773 is set up to source 5 volts, which is being measured by the Fluke 726. And the Fluke 8846A is showing approximately 12 milliamps, which is what the Fluke 726 is set up to source. The milliamp range on the Fluke 726 is 0 to 24 milliamps. Currently at the 50% value, which is 12 milliamps, I can go up and down in 25% increments. That's 16 milliamps and that's 8 milliamps. It is close to what the Fluke 8846A is measuring. I can also set the source current to anywhere within its range. 10 milliamps for example, which is 37.5% on a 4 to 20 milliamp loop. In addition to being able to step in 25% increments or source any arbitrary value, the resolution of the Fluke 726 is 1 microamp. The Fluke 726 supports a wide range of thermal couples as well as resistive temperature devices. I currently have a Type K thermal couple connected to the Fluke 726. It's measuring 19.6, 19.7 degrees Celsius. The measured temperature can be displayed in Celsius, Fahrenheit or Kelvin. The Fluke 726 is also capable of simulating a temperature probe. Here I'm using an RTD and I'm simulating approximately 15 degrees Celsius. There is a slight difference in the type of RTD the Fluke 726 is simulating and the type of RTD the Fluke 8846A is expecting. The Fluke 726 could be set up to simulate the appropriate RTD. I just don't have one set up currently. I've now set up the Fluke 8846A to measure frequency. And the Fluke 726 is generating a 10 kilohertz square wave. Again, the Fluke 726 allows us to set any arbitrary value we want within its range. It's 1 kHz for example. The Fluke 726 Precision Calibrator can also simulate resistance. Here I've set it up to simulate 1000 ohms. And we're reading approximately 1K on the 8846A. And this is approximately 4K which is the top of the range. In this review, I just quickly covered the very basic functions of this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator. There is a lot more functionality buried within this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator that I could review. Let me know in the comments if there are specific features or functions of this Fluke 726 that you would like me to cover in more detail. This is an extremely capable but very expensive piece of test gear. There is a lower spec version of this called the 725 Process Calibrator. 
You also saw in this review the Fluke 773 process clamp meter. It's considerably cheaper than this Fluke 726 precision process calibrator. It's also capable of sourcing and measuring, but it lacks a dual display. I hope you enjoyed this review and the quick introduction to my Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator. In a lot of my other videos I've covered and shown many of the features of this Fluke 726 Precision Process Calibrator so you can maybe check those out as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you did enjoy this review please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.